Hi, I'm Lucy Lightfoot. As a golfer and TV presenter, I know what a difference a high quality playing surface can make to the player's game and enjoyment. I also know it's down to the skills of the turf manager to deliver it. We're here at Bearwood Lakes Golf Course in Berkshire where we're going to meet Syngenta Application Specialist Tom Robinson. He's going to give us some practical tips and ideas which will enable sprayer operators to achieve the best possible results and to help make good turf great. Okay, so um, where do we start? Um, well, uh, to calibrate a sprayer, to put the right number of litres per hectare on, you have to know how much spray is coming out of the nozzle and how fast the spray is going. So it's, a, it's equating those two together. So the first point to start at is calibrating the speed of the sprayer. And to calibrate the speed of a sprayer, there's only one way to do it, which is to measure out 100 metres with a couple of canes and you drive up that 100 metres, you drive over the canes so that when the cane falls you start the stopwatch yep. and then when you hit the second cane you stop the stopwatch mm -hmm. and then uh, with metric um, maths luckily if you take the time in seconds um, well you write that down and then the calculation is 360 divided by the time that it took in seconds to travel that 100 meters gives you your forward speed in kilometers an hour so for example if you took 45 seconds to do your 100 metres, 360 divided by 45 is 8. And so you, you travel that 100 metres at 8 kilometres an hour. OK, OK, so when we know how fast we're spraying, how do you then move on to deciding what the required output is at the nozzle? Right. We know um, how many litres a hectare we want to apply. and. Um, just say, for example, we were going to work at 200 litres a hectare, then there's another calculation you do um, where you put in the number of litres per hectare times the spacing of the nozzles on the boom, which in this case will be half a metre on most sprayers, times your forward speed in kilometres an hour, um, divide by 600. So in this example that we're just working out, um, it would be 200 litres a hectare, times a half metre nozzle spacing times eight kilometres an hour divided by 600 and that will give you your nozzle output in litres per minute. Okay and how would that change um, if you were spraying faster or if you changed the water volume for example? Uh, well if the guy just speeds up um, and doesn't change the nozzle output then he'll be underdosing um, and if he for whatever reasons increases the output from the nozzles without changing forward speed then he'll be overdosing so really an operator has to choose a speed that he's going to go at and and then calibrate the sprayer for that speed and he's got to stick to it okay so um, how do we then use that knowledge to make sure that we've chosen the right nozzle we we know how many liters a hectare we want to put on and we now know how many liters a minute should be coming out of a nozzle to put those on the actual choice of nozzle that we have, we have looked at a bit in, uh, in the earlier session on nozzles and so we need to know what the right size of nozzle is of the ones that we want and, and you get that figure from the uh, nozzle manufacturer's data chart. So you know how many litres a minute the thing is going to apply and then you choose a nozzle that will give the right output in litres a minute between two and three bars pressure typically and then you'll have a good spray. Okay, thanks Tom. Pleasure. So the summary is, calibrate your sprayer regularly. Don't just rely on automatic systems, check the output manually. Select and change for the right nozzles. Use the Greencast application zone for the latest information.